so right now I'm getting rid of the rest of these troll heads for prayer experience. Cast a spell on it, reanimate it. Um, each one gives 780 prayer experience. Combat experience, combat experience, 780 prayer experience. And then it costs two natures, two soul, three body rings. Cast on the troll head. And it gets 93 magic experience for this spell. It's mainly for prayer. They cost about 2,000 each, 2,000 gold each. But what I did was I got dragon burns. I just killed blue dragons for dragon burns and blue dragon hides. And then, cause that's how you would normally get prayer experience by using the burns and then the crafting experience would be for the hides. But I sold both of those and then I bought the troll heads. Because one dragon burn is worth 3,000 gold. And it gives you 252 prayer experience at the altar. But this costs 2,000 gold, which is a thousand less, and it gives you 780 experience each time. But you have to have the rings. And I'm almost out of nature rings, so but I'm not gonna buy them. I'm just gonna craft them. I have to buy the soul rings because I don't have the ring crafting level up. But I think you can craft the soul rings out here in the Arceus place. That's the the Arceus people. Do it. Corrend, Arceus, 100%. You have to have 60% to start summoning them. But they let you craft stuff. Wait, I think I can show you. 100% blood runes and soul runes. But you need like 71 rune crafting and then something higher. So, I'm just using this for prayer experience. The reason I need prayer experience is because at level 70, then I can do the Mori Tanya Diary hard, which means I get double the runes from berries. So I can train my magic at berries by using Ivan's Blast, and that kills the, them really fast. This dude is where you train spell books, by the way. And you can only cast Reanimate here unless you've just killed the monster and got it as a drop. So, once I get 70 prayer, then I can just, I think I have to do some other things, but I can do the diary, and then I can do bears and get a lot of runes, continuously passing Ivan's Blast, and that will supply me with the runes. The only thing you need is like prayer pots and food, but food is easy to get, you can get it from fishing and cooking, and then prayer pots, you can get them from Kingdom Management to get the herbs. And then buy snake grass to get the prayer potion. So it's really easy to acquire everything you need for, for barrows. And then once you do barrows, you can get the next tier armor. So that's my next step. I've only got Darox Axe, which I have in the bank. So I'm trying to get actually like Varrock's skirt and Varrock's helmet to do. Um, the, the fight caves for the fire cave and so that would be so awesome and the bears items that I don't really need for the fire cave I might sell them to get a toxic blow pipe because if you get a toxic blow pipe it makes the fight caves really really easy to finish so it's really so awesome so I'm left with 207 nature runes, so I'm about to go craft some more, I'll show you my s So I'm going to make nature runes by doing the um, abyss method. So let's see, I have the glory to get back to Edgeville. And you can use this graceful armor because if someone kills you, untradeables they don't pick up you can go back and get them i'm pretty sure either that or you can or they are still you still wear them so i use pickaxe 
Either you can use pickaxe or like a wood cutting axe. But the mining obstacles are more common, so that's what I use. This other dude has little help. Once the screen turns, you know it's done. It has everything here. Law Rift. Chaos. I'm going to nature. Because these are good experience. 225. And they're also pretty good money. 238 each, that's 10k. And then you see I just left Edgeville. I'll just go back. And then just go bank and repeat. Just put these away and then fill the essence. Make sure I have a glory amulet. And then just... I already have 43. I started with 700 and I got from 60 to 65 prayers. So I don't use nature's a lot. Because I don't alk. Because you lose money from alking. I can make money from training magic. So, I don't use I don't use them for that. But yeah, I'll get back to you. So I did nature runes for a little bit, and I have about like a thousand nature runes. So that'll be good for the next time I buy and sold troll heads. Speaking of which, I have to go earn some money for them. So I'm using the blue dragon method, going this way using the void ranger, which increases accuracy and your top max hit by like 30% so it's like it's only good for things that have low defense and things that don't do a lot of DPS on you but since I'm safe spotting it's all good so here this place is right next to Falador if you have 70 agility you can get the shortcut and go right to the blue dragons so I'm doing this just to get more prayer experience because if I sell the bones and the hides, I can buy the insole troll heads. So that's the first safe spot I would use. But there's another safe spot in the background. Most people, they use toxic blowpipe. But you have to bring a shield and then switch back and forth. This is the other safe spot right here. There's plenty of them right here. There's, see, there's like four people. This dude doesn't need to be here since he doesn't need a safe spot. This dude could be using that one. But these are dying fast, and this is why I use a ranging potion, which will boost the 88 range. And then, but I also use this one, Hawkeye, but not Eagle Eye, because this one decreases your prayer slower. This one is really fast, so I can use this like the whole trip. And then I take it off every time I'm done. And sometimes I'll use Telegrab, but I don't always need to. Because I bring runes for Falador and Lumbridge. When I'm done, I go to Lumbridge. Because the altar is right there. You can recharge your prayers, so you don't have to waste prayer potions. So I tag them as quick as I can. Put on Hawkeye. And I'm good. I definitely get the hides, too. Because it's 2k for that. And then I can fill up my inventory quick and have like a good... I don't know, 50k, 70k. I just hit a 31 with range. I'm only level 77 too. Almost 78. 32. So yeah, you can tell this is going to be some good money. And then that will boost me up to 70 prayer. Won't take that long, I don't think. So I'll see you next clip. So blue dragons are full, so I'm going to train smithing for a while. I've been trying to get to 75 because I level 75 and then you can do western provinces um I think it's this one hard diary but yeah I need to teleport to Camelot right in front of the bank so I can train the ability faster because I'm trying to get 80 agility and once I get 80 agility then I can do the other shortcut in the Tavali dungeon, which will allow me to charge the fire orb quicker. And then I can make like, instead of losing money through Alking, you can get the same amount of XP for Alking, but you can get profit like a thousand gold for each Alk instead of losing money. You just have to run to the altar, but if you have 80 ability, you can get there fast. So I'm training to 75 smithing so I can teleport to Camelot so that the Sears Village rooftop course will be 
done really quick because you access it at level 60 but it's the highest XP if you do the Western Province's Hard Diary so that's why I'm working on smithing and I can make a profit I'm gonna smith these bars into bolts and make even more money so I'll see you next time so after I make the bars I'll smith them into bolts here I'll show you the prices alright so I got for one bar 772 I made 10 of these made 860 and I got like 50 experience and then I fudged them and that's 50 experience but then that one's like that one loses money I think like 30 GP but it's more than the bar and then 10 feathers it'll sell for at least 800 GP so you don't really lose money from the bar and it's it takes I can fudge them all from when I walk from here to here from the anvil to the bank so it's just free at fletching experience while I get smithing experience. I got to level 69 smithing, but I'll get some more. And then basically I just sell the mithril bolts and buy more mithril ore. And I get coal from miscellanea. Just keep money in the coffers and then you get as much coal as you need. So that's just a way to get experience and make some money. So that's what I'm training, trying to get 75 smithing for the next one. So yeah.